This video is part of the IBM Data Server Manager video series. In this video, we will walk through a specific example of database administration in IBM Data Server Manager. Tyler is an application DBA at the Sample Outdoor company. He's responsible for the design and administration of the databases for the company's analytics applications. As part of preparing to enhance one of their analytics applications, Tyler needs to make changes to a database in their development system. When all the changes are ready for testing, he will synchronize these changes with the testing system. Let's see how Tyler performs these tasks using IBM Data Server Manager. From the initial Explore Databases page, Tyler selects the development database and provides credentials to the database. From the Explore Databases view, he can access all database objects and their properties and perform basic administration tasks for each specific instance and each database object. Tyler selects the Tables object under the GSDB Dev database to display a list of all the tables in that database. To see only the tables used in the analytics application, which all use the schema name GoSales, he adds a filter to narrow down the list. Above the table list, Data Server Manager displays the operations that Tyler can perform on each table. Tyler selects the Branch table to drill down. The properties of that table open in a new tab. To make changes to the Branch table, Tyler clicks Alter. Next, he selects the Columns tab. Then he increases the length of the organization code column from 30 characters to 40. The alter command is displayed in the command box. Tyler then selects Run Now and finally clicks Finish. Data Server Manager displays the alter table progress indicator. Another message is displayed when the alter table is complete. Sometime later, Tyler and his developers have completed all of the changes needed for the first phase of the enhancement project. They are now ready to synchronize the changes in the development database to the QA database for testing. Tyler will use the Compare and Sync feature in Data Server Manager to do this. Tyler selects all of the tables used by the analytics application and clicks Compare. He then selects GSDB QA, the QA database, as the target system for the comparison, and let the wizard automatically find the target objects. He then clicks Next. The compare shows four tables with differences, highlighted in yellow. Three existing tables have changes, and one new table named Verify was added in GSDB Dev, the source of the comparison. Data Server Manager also provides a summary of the compare analysis. Tyler drills down to review the detailed changes to each table. The first compare shows the difference in the organization code column in the branch table. The length of the column is different. Remember that Tyler changed the column length earlier in the branch table in the GSDB Dev database. The next difference is the pay method code column in the cust order header table, which shows the column name has been changed. Tyler continues to look at the other differences. The last one is marked as missing in the target, which means that this table has been added in GSDB Dev. Finally, to synchronize these changes from the source to the target database, Tyler selects all of the tables that are highlighted in yellow as changed or new and clicks Generate Command to generate the commands for these changes. Tyler then clicks Next and selects the option to edit these commands before running them. 
The SQL Editor view is displayed with the changed commands. In general, this SQL Editor can be used to develop SQL scripts with built-in syntax highlighting, syntax assist, and syntax checking. The command bar of the editor contains links to several utilities to explain, tune, validate syntax, and run the scripts. In this example, the verify table is new. The generated create table statement does not have a qualified schema. Instead of taking the current schema as the default, Tyler explicitly enters go sales as the target schema for the new table. He clicks validate to ensure that all of the syntax is good and then clicks run to make these changes to the GSDB QA database. The status shows that all commands ran successfully. Tyler can manually explore the tables in the GSDB QA database to verify that the changes were made. Also, since the database has been configured to monitor for database and configuration changes, Tyler can review these changes in the Track Changes view. The view shows changes to the database configuration and objects that are configured for tracking with monitoring profiles. You can specify a time interval with a date and duration and define filters to show specific information. In this example, Tyler wants to look at the changes made in the past day at the table level. First, Tyler confirms the changes flagged as modify for three of the tables and new for the verify table. Tyler then drills down to review the changes at the column level. He confirms the changes which are marked with an underscore. If enabled, these changes also trigger the configuration change alert. The change alert includes a comparison report with detailed information about the changes. From the report, Tyler first drills down to view the report details for the database columns and he sees the columns that were changed. Then he drills down to view the report details for database tables and sees that the verify table was added. In this video, we showed you an example of how a database administrator can use IBM Data Server Manager to explore database objects, alter database tables, compare and synchronize tables between two databases, track changes, and receive alerts detailing all of the changes made to database objects.